Once they hear our stories, it starts to make a little bit more sense. It's like if someone's body is born in between, then how does it not make sense that they might also identify as in between, you know? Hi, Alicia. Hi, Jenna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to talk to you. Yeah, you as well. About Yes, about this very, very important uh, documentary and how does it feel to have your like story unfold in this, this, in this way now, right? Not just like in front of the court. Yeah. Now everybody's going to be able to see it. Yeah, it's, it's a, I have a multifaceted answer to that. It's very exciting. It's a little bit nerve wracking. Um, I definitely shared pieces of myself beyond what I had prior to this film, which feels like a lot. Um, but I also have never had the opportunity to share on this wide of a platform before, um, nor to work with someone like Julie, who has such a name for herself and comes with this level of credibility that I think will be so helpful for our movement because we've been doing this work for decades. It's just no one's been listening or no one's been giving us a microphone or a megaphone or whatever. And, and so to have someone like Julie, who is so credible in her work and has um, shared the stories of amazing people who I feel so honored to be in the same context as from Ruth Bader Ginsburg to Gabby Giffords, you know, not only do I know that our stories are in good hands? And I think when you see the film, that becomes very evident, but uh, also hopefully it'll help people realize that we are not a niche movement. We are not some, you know, insignificant portion of the population. Like we are important and our voices matter, our stories matter. And um, and so to to have them heard in this way for the first time, above all else, it's it's really amazing. Yes, yes. And like you mentioned Julie, and she's amazing. She's an amazing documentary. I love everything that she does. Yeah. How did you, did you, that this conversation with her, how everything started and how yeah. did you guys like connect? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Wonderful connection with her. Totally. So it's crazy to think that this, it's now been over three years since Julie first reached out to me um, for the little snippets you see on the screen, there's a lot that goes behind each and every one of them. Uh, but Julie reached out to me about three years ago for the first time. Uh, as folks know, most of her films are in the realm of gender equity and political activism. And I had been doing work in that space for quite some time um, through running campaigns and running nonprofits. And so I guess she had heard about my work that way um, and spoke to me about making this film and both she and I were very adamant from the beginning about if we were going to tell this story, it couldn't just be my story. Um, we had to give a broader, um, a broader snapshot of our movement. And so she wanted to get other voices involved. And the first person I thought of was Saifa, given that Saifa has been out as an intersex person over a decade longer than even I have, um, and also represents a really important voice being a black intersex man. Um, and then we started filming with, with me and Saifa and we were filming the scene where we run a protest at Wild Cornell Medical College in New York City. And our friend River had just shown up to be at the protest. And um, we gave River the, the megaphone at the protest and River was kind of shouting about our needs and really caught Julie's eye, which makes sense. River is an actor and a filmmaker and plays really well on camera. So <laughs> I think um, as soon as Julie saw them on camera, she was like, wow, we got to get River involved. And I think that then rounded out our perfect little trifecta because you have a white intersex woman, you have a black intersex man, you have a non-binary intersex Latine activist and beyond the different identities that we hold, we all also approach our activism in very different ways. I'm more on the political side, Rivers in the entertainment industry, Saifa is in academia. Um, and so you see really the breadth of our movement, but also how we all come together to, to work on things. And so I think Julie really made magic in pulling our three stories together in particular. Um, but I, I also hope people know that 
if if our three stories are great, there are tons more where that came from. And so I hope this will be a jumping off point for people to read and watch more intersex stories. Yeah, I was uh, I was amazed because I wasn't born here in the U.S., but I was yeah. amazed with like the not amazed. I was like very upset with the David's story, what happened to him like year like years ago, and I was like, I cannot believe it. I cannot imagine my son going through that. You know what yep. I mean? So yep. I was like, I I just can't. I for me, and I like, think that, that story gives the that gives people a context for understanding our stories. Because if they say, "Wow, there was this boy who was born a boy, and they accidentally messed up his genitalia and decided to turn him into a girl," and that seems so shocking to people, and then I think they're more able to understand our stories, where it's like, "Okay, well, we were born in between, and doctors come and make a decision to push us one way or the other." And so, yeah, I'm glad that Julie included David Reimer's story. Um, it, it really helps give folks context for understanding intersex stories. But then I hope that our intersex stories also give folks context to understand other stories, like for, for example, trans stories. A lot of people who struggle to understand diversity in terms of gender, once they hear our stories, it starts to make a little bit more sense. It's like if someone's body is born in between, then how does it not make sense that they might also identify as in between, you know? So I, I hope that David Reimer's story helps people understand the intersex experience and that our intersex stories help people understand the human exp experience more broadly. Yeah, no, yeah, it's it's amazing. And, and what do we can do as a, because I'm not intersex, I'm, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm I'm female, but what yeah. we can do on our side to help you guys on this, like on this venture, yeah. you know what I mean? On this, on this path. The first step is getting people to watch the movie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so I'm going to do that for sure. <laughs> yes. Yes. It'll be out in theaters June 30th. Um, I also have a book coming out this fall. It's called Inverse Cowgirl, but it's already available for pre-order via my publisher, Harper Collins. And, um, so people can pre-order my book. There are other intersex books too. Uh, there's a book called XOXY that's out there. And then my friend Pigeon, who's also an intersex activist, has their book coming out soon, which is, uh, it's called, I can't remember what it's called, but if people look up Pigeon Pagonis is their name and Pigeon's book is, is also coming out this summer. Um, and so it's watching our movies, reading our books, and then telling your friends to do the same. Uh, following us on social media too. Each of the three of us in the movie, me, River, and Saifa, each have our own social media accounts. And through following our accounts, you'll see our ongoing work. And so it won't just be a moment in time that you hear this one story and then nothing ever again. If you start to hear from us on an ongoing basis, you'll just better and better understand our movement and what we're fighting for and different ways that you can plug in. Okay. I'll, I'm going to start following you. I'm <laughs> Jenna on camera and I'm going to yes. start following and then you. From and... my account, you can find Saifa and River as well. That's amazing. Alicia, I just want to thank you so much for your time. A pleasure yeah. to meet you. Pleasure I'm going to meet follow you, you. And I hope everybody understand and like the documentary like I did and understand more about this. It's not just a whatever documentary. It's an important yeah. issue, an important topic that everybody needs to be discussing. Thank you so thank much. You. Everybody needs to watch everybody. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> thank bye -bye. you, Jenna. Bye. Thank you. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.